family always come up to me and says, Tamp on there, why do you date nothing but white women? You know what attracts me to white women, to be honest with you? It's not that they have a flat ass or that they're naive. You know what attracts me to white women? It's, it's, it's the credit score, yeah. <laughs> you bitches make good co-signers. <laughs> fucking up my credit. One time I, I was in the fifth grade, I came home from school early and got the mail, and the phone bill and the gas bill was in my name. I'm like, Mom, why is the phone bill and the gas bill in my name? She said, you don't like it? Get out. I said, well, according to the name on the lease, this is my house. You get the fuck out. Go to your room. Go to my room now. Go to my room. Go to my room. Fucking up my credit, man. My parents... They did some crazy shit, man. They used to put the fucking, all the bills and all the kids' name and shit. My little, my mother was pregnant, three months pregnant with my little brother. Nigga already had a car note. I'm like, what the fuck? Got a better car than me. He ain't even born yet. Man. My mother got creative and shit. She started using relatives from out of state and shit. One time we had, a, my grandmother lived in North Carolina. And we forgot she had a call ID. We're like, why every time y'all call, my name pops up? I'm like, bitch, we didn't pay our bill. We wait for your old ass to die so we can put the mortgage in your name. Uh, that credit's a motherfucker. My mother got hit, man. She used to get the phone bill. See, white people, Latinos and black people, we do things different. And I'm going to tell you why. White people, you get a phone bill for $380, y'all pay $400. Y'all get like $10 credit. And so y'all just above. Latinos, you get a phone bill for $380. Y'all paid a minimum down payment of like six dollars. <laughs> yeah, the remainder balance is three hundred and seventy-four dollars. Black people, we get a phone bill for three hundred eighty dollars. We don't do shit. We get it turned off, and we get it turned on the next day in somebody else's name. Yeah. Why am I like we started using dead people and shit? It was like uh, this message is for Kurt Cobain. Yeah, you have a three hundred eighty dollar uh, phone bill. Can you please pay that by the eleventh? Hey, this message is for Tupac Shakur. Listen, we're going to cut your gas bill off if you don't pay that by the 28th. Yeah. Like, fuck that shit. I, got, I live in Peoria now. I got a neighbor who's a Polish skinhead. One night he put a cross in, in my yard and burnt down his own house. <laughs> got another neighbor, half Puerto Rican, half Irish. Last week he got drunk and stole his own fucking car. Huh? <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? Unbelievable. How you doing, man? You still need black ice? I would love to fuck up your credit. Oh, you are hot, hot, hot. I'm not really a comic. This is part of my probation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> We're my Mexicans, hey. It's hot, you know, this is my first summer here because I'm from New York and it's hot. Man, it's so hot out here, my balls were stuck to my back. <laughs> Man, it's so hot, I think Sheriff Joe sneaking into Mexico. That's how hot it is, huh? Yeah, he was like, I can't take it. Oh, I got something called the Top 10 Dialists. Let me explain. These are 10 celebrities for fun. We want to see dead. So when I give a reason why they should die, I need you guys to yell, die, die, die. Somebody give me a drum roll, please. Oh. I didn't know Soul Train came on in the white neighborhood. <laughs> Coming in at number 10 on Tampon Man's top 10 die list. Innocent of murder? Bullshit. Stevie Wonder could see the motherfuckers guilty. OJ Simpson, die, die, die. You're looking for the real killer? I give you a hint. He won the Heisman Trophy in 67. Tampon Man, White Tower, yeah. OJ's in a new movie. He's doing a sequel to The Lion King. Called the lying nigger. <laughs> I'm a black comic. I could get away with the N word. If I was a black athlete, I could get away with murder. Yeah! <laughs> Coming at number nine on the top ten die list. Why don't you take your crappy songs to Iraq, you bitches? The Dixie Chicks die, die, die. Those bitches put the cunt in country. Damn fun man, nobody likes me. They don't like me, yeah. Get for putting a nigger on last. Coming at number eight on the top ten.